drunk I've never seen you clearer than now We're flying high Floating somewhere up in the clouds We're going out of ourselves Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing We're like wheels that won't stop turning So take me on a trip, trip, trip Now, trip, trip, trip Oh, I flick the switch Kill the lights Oh, I wasted City lights are shining so bright All these empty faces We don't care about them tonight We're going out of ourselves Can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing With the wheels Don't stop turning I know we're acting stupid Sunday. It is about 10 o'clock I think. I've literally just got dressed. I have had quite a chilled morning. I, got, I always get up early on a Sunday morning because I always have my Sunday morning video to upload which was a misguided haul this morning. If you did fancy, if you haven't seen it and you did fancy having a little look, I will leave a link below. There's so many like really cute little summery super affordable bits in there. Um, but anyway that went up this morning and then I had some pictures to edit to pop up on Instagram as well um, and I have literally just been kind of sat having a coffee replying to comments and yeah it's been quite a nice chilled Sunday morning. Um, Lou is out in the garden already, surprise surprise. <laughs> um, he is putting the roof on the shed today, well I say the roof, the tiles, he's putting the tiles on the shed. We got some like grey slate tiles um and they look really nice and they're going up on the shed so it's going to look gorgeous i will go and show you in a minute um but they're just going to make such a difference it's going to be like the most bougie shed ever um and hopefully it will also have cladding put on it soon as well so oh and windows as well i've got to mention the shed is also going to have windows anyway I'll show you in a minute. By the way, if you're wondering why there's a white square on the wall behind me, um, we got a new TV. Just a little kind of, I think it's a little bit smaller than the one we had before. I was going to get one of the Samsung frame TVs, I think, that loads of you mentioned in my last video. Um, because I'd said that I don't really like the way a TV looks. A lot of you mentioned getting one of those ones. Um, but I, I think if I'm going to spend a bit more on a TV, I'd rather have one of those in the living room um than in here so I, I may get one to go in the living room because i do think that it would make a difference but yeah i don't know yet this is what i'm wearing today just because it's super comfortable um this t-shirt is from asos and these shorts are from my misguided video um if you saw the video you'll know that they are a bit too big for me these are a size 10 um but I've popped, I've popped them on with a belt and actually when I pulled them down a little bit lower and put the belt on they kind of fit okay and they are so comfortable. They're like the most comfortable pair of denim shorts that I've ever owned. Probably because they're too big for me um, but I just like the fact that there's like loads of room around the top of the leg. They're just yeah super comfortable. Um, so I thought I would wear these today because I'm going to be in and out of the garden and I have just popped my hair in a, in a top bun. So as you can see he has already started putting a few tiles up but he said he needed to do the other side first. Well, start on the other side as well to like even things out. Um, but these are the tiles. I'll show you a little bit closer so you can see. Are they slate, Lou? Concrete. Concrete tiles. They're concrete. I just said they were slate. Um, but they're going to look so nice when that's all tiled and then this is cladded. And then we're gonna, going to have like a window this side and a window that side. Um, just to make it look really cute and pretty. Oh, and I got a couple of extra hanging baskets as well. Um, that one there, which I don't really know what flowers are in it, but I just picked them up from being q the other day. Um, and then I also popped one over here as well. Oh, look, <laughs> this is what happened to the TV that was in our bedroom. Lou has put it up on the wall there. It's not staying there. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but 
Um, Lou had a friend over the other night. In fact, I'll pop a little picture of them because he had a friend over the other night and they sat here, like, obviously, a social distancing distance apart. Um, and they had a little table out here with some pizza and some drinks and they sat and watched the football and you were in your element, weren't you, Lou? Yeah, brilliant. Loving life. Huh? No, I know, yeah, yeah, you lost. But still, you like the little, nice little setup to have outside soirees. <laughs> has anything else changed out here? I don't think it really has, actually. I planted like a row of sweet peas along here, so I don't know if you can see, but... So me... what, did, though, what? Oh, really? Oh, you can actually see the cauliflower and the broccoli and the sprouts. Oh, I'll go and have a look in a minute. Um, yeah, the tomatoes look like they need a bit of a water. Um, anyway, yeah, so I planted these sweet peas along here. So, like, there's a little row of them all the way up here. Because um, I, I originally thought it'd be really nice to have, like, a whole, like, row of sweet peas. But actually, I don't really know if it was the best idea because I don't really know how they're going to look growing up the canes. And I'm just not sure. Um, I'm learning as I go. Um, but, yeah, and I also... Half of me is thinking to just get rid of all of this and just do a big row of lavender all the way down. Um, but we're also thinking of putting stones all the way up there as well. So I might, I don't really know, I, I don't know. <laughs> the marigolds are all poking out, they look quite pretty. Again, I'm not really a huge fan of a yellow flower, but they look cute. Um, what else? Oh yeah, so like Lou was saying, we've got some veg growing over here. Lots of veg sprouting out. I don't really know what's what. We've sort of just planted some seeds. Oh, the spinach isn't growing as big as it was in the beginning, is it? In the beginning, this this spinach. Yeah. Oh, look at them. So you can see we've got. I didn't even know that's how sprouts. Do you think they are sprouts? Well, I can't see what else they're going to be. I know Do you think? Come on the big stem, don't they? Yeah. Well, we think that these may be little, tiny, little baby sprouts. <laughs> um, and that broccoli in front of it, the darker one. This one here is broccoli? No, the darker one. Darker coloured one. Yeah, that is the. Go around the other side. Where? You can't see that big Oh, yeah. Over here, we've got a little broccoli growing. I didn't even know that's what broccoli looked like as it grew. Like I didn't, exp I didn't know where it was going to grow. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? And that um, the tomatoes look like they need a little bit of water. They look a little bit droopy, but there's lots growing on there. Um, at the back, this is spinach. At the, at the beginning, when we first planted this, we had loads of massive leaves, um, but now they seem to be all kind of like little, little puny ones. I don't know if that's because I need to pick them to encourage them to grow more or. Yeah, or maybe they've just not got enough space. Um, and then over here, you said what this is. <laughs> over here, we have a cauliflower. Wow, look at him. That's so cool. We've got cauliflower. I mean, there's a, that's a hell of a lot of leaves for one little yeah. cauliflower, isn't it? It's gonna be massive. What, the cauliflower? Yeah. <laughs> Hello little butterfly. But yeah, we're going to be proper professional vegetable growers. I've just come inside and noticed I've got the tiniest caterpillar crawl it was crawling up my leg. But it's so small. Hello. How tiny is that? Have you ever seen a caterpillar that small before? When we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life
So Lou has got a few rows up over on this side and I have been hacking away at the bottom of this tree that was kind of coming over, just the bits that were hanging over into our garden. Um, I've just been kind of cutting them away. Although we need to get some proper, what are they called? Like yeah, like some proper secateurs. Basically, I was using Lou's electrical clippers to do it, which took a while, but we got managed to get quite a bit off. Um, and it's just neatened that little bit up a little bit. And then I'm going to climb up and see if I can get a bit of that off. Um, and you just said that we're going to move over to this side now, aren't we? Yeah. I'm going to get up and help Lou do this side. You and I, we got it. I just grabbed a tile to put it down and this little blighter was underneath it and it absolutely scared the life out of me. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. Little fiddler on the roof. <laughs> um, so we've got a few more rows of tiles up and they are looking lovely. They're going to look so nice, especially when that hanging basket's all bloomed and the shed is finished. It's going to look wonderful. Um, I did put a few up myself, but Lou's a little bit quicker and a bit more of a dab hand at roofing than me, so I gave it a go. It is four o'clock now and we are just off to Lou's parents' house for dinner, which is the first time we have been there in, I think since February. So it's been absolutely ages, so it'll be so lovely to see them. Um, yeah, Lou's two sisters will be there as well, which would be nice. Good morning, it is Monday and we are up, up and out quite early. We've just popped out to get a few house bits. Um, by the way, we had a lovely time yesterday, didn't we? Mm, At yeah, your mum and dad's, good. it was really nice. We had, oh, it was so like, we haven't had roast for ages and it was so good to have like a really big, well, we've had roast, but not one of your mum's roasts and it was really good, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so anyway, yeah, had a lovely time yesterday. This morning we have just nipped out. We've picked up here next to me, we've got some glass. We literally just got two sheets of glass for the shed windows. Um, just had them cut to size. Lou had already made the frames on the inside, so you've just got to kind of not cut that out, haven't you? And yeah, mess fit around. them in. Um, we also got a big bit of um, like something to go above the door. What is it like? Trim, just a bit like of basically trim, a trim yeah. that we needed to get fitted to go above our front door, just because of the gap above it. Um, by the way, I'm vlogging because <laughs> we've been we've been blocked in. <laughs> We're heading to Wix next to get um, a bit of beading to hold the glass in place. Yep, some frames for the windows. Um, yeah, just having a morning of like batten. grabbing bits and bobs, battens. We need some more battens so we can finish off the shed ridge roof. Tiles. Some more ridge tiles. <laughs> <laughs> um, the shed roof's looking so nice as well. Like we had a little look at it this morning, didn't we? And it looks so nice. Um, so yeah, we're just sort of running a few errands this morning, getting a few bits and bobs for the house and then going to head back home and crack on with the day. We've just got back home and there were two packages on the doorstep waiting for me. And then there was a little sorry we missed you card with another two packages at our neighbour's house. So I thought I would do like a little unboxing. A couple of them are PR packages. Um, one of them is something that I ordered a few days ago. 
um, and the other one is something from ASOS and I'm not sure what it is. So I'll just go through them and open them. This is one from Orly, so I'm guessing it is some nail polishes. Um, I might need a knife to get into this actually. Shall I move it back so you can see a little bit more of what I'm doing actually? Uh, is that better? Yeah, it's a bit better, isn't it? Um, so, dear Charlotte, I hope you love these shades and treatment products for your nails. Lovely. Oh, that is such a nice nude colour. How gorgeous is that? It's like a really like pale, nudey pink. It's kind of the colour that I've been wearing a lot recently. So there's a nude one. There's a breathable treatment and shine all-in-one base and top coat. And then this is a fonder. What does that do? Rubberized base coat. Oh, lovely. It's like a really good base coat. Thank you, Orly. By the way, if you can hear noise outside, Lou is back on the roof doing, finishing off the shed roof. Um, and yeah, he's bashing around. So if you hear, if you hear noise, that's what it is. And then I've also got a glossy box as well. This month's glossy box. Ooh, aloha. What's in here? Oh, okay, so I think it's like a summery theme. There is a bronzer, Aloha bronzer, um, a hand cream, a lip and cheek balm, some glow drops, and a sheet mask as well. Oh, like a watermelon sheet mask. Lovely, I love glossy drops. I love trying new products, and it's just a really good way to do it. Um, I'll go for this one first, so I know what this is. These are, I'm so excited about these by the way. I have been trying to order these for months and they've been out of stock for ages. And they finally came back in stock the other day and I ordered them straight away. They are some white curtains for in here. Um, I went for pencil pleat ones just because I like the way they look. And they are like a gorgeous sort of white, kind of like, not linen, but almost like, let me show you the fabric. Is that gonna focus? Can you see that? I don't know if that's focusing or not. I don't know if it will. Um, but they're a lovely sort of thick, linen-y, cottony. Oh, they look beautiful. Um, and I got like the biggest ones available, like the widest ones available. And they were really reasonable as well. They were 110 pounds and compared to a lot of other masks, because they are four meters lot, four meters wide, those cut, those um bifold doors and compared to a lot of other places with curtains that were four meters left wide we were talking like five six hundred pounds so 110 pounds is an absolute bargain and um, and then this is a little box from asos and i don't know what's in here so i'm excited to see sorry it's going a bit dark are we focusing that's a bit better and um, yes yeah, so i'm super excited to see what's in this Charlotte too, we make up. Do you know what I saw in there the other day on their homepage when I was on there? I saw that they were now selling Charlotte Tilbury, and I didn't have a look, but I thought, oh, I'm gonna have to have a look. So, oh my goodness, <gasps> there are so many bits in there. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, ASOS. <gasps> oh, I am so, I actually cannot believe how many bits are in here. Okay, so I'll quickly talk. Shall I go through some of them with you? Do you want to have a little look? Yeah, I will. Okay, so this is a lip cheat. This is um, a lip liner in the shade Pillow Talk. Oh, it's Pillow Talk lip liner. This is one of my absolute favourites. It is gorgeous. How It's like the perfect... Sorry, I did that in a really weird place. It's like the perfect nude lip liner. It's just gorgeous. And I ran out of mine a little while ago, so... I actually needed a new one of those. Love that. This is another lip liner by the, by the sound of things. Oh, okay, so this is Pillow Talk 2, medium. So it's slightly darker than the other one, um, which is lovely. It looks like a gorgeous nude as well. Uh, this is a feline flick eyeliner. Oh my goodness, I actually cannot believe that ASOS have sent me all of this. Oh, that looks like a really good eyeliner. Look at that. 
I put it like, how good does that look? <gasps> that looks amazing. Like that looks like it would make it so easy to do a little flick with. Um, that's the lip liner. What else have we got in here? Okay, so there's a liquid concealer, full coverage, long lasting concealer. I've never tried a Charlotte Tilbury concealer before, but excited to try that. Um, Beauty Light Wand Easy Highlighter. Oh, complexion perfecting micro powder. Oh, I, I love the rose gold packaging of Charlotte Tilbury. It's so beautiful. Oh, that looks really nice as well. It's kind of like a really pale, almost translucent powder. And I've just run out of a powder as well. So that could not have come at a better time. Actually cannot believe how many bits that they've sent me. I know I keep saying that, but I am rather overwhelmed. Um, this is a beautiful eyeshadow palette. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Look at those eyeshadow shades. They are beautiful. They're kind of all like peachy, nudey, summery colors. I wouldn't use like the pinkier ones, I don't think, but they might be quite good blushers, like little mini ones. Um, and again, the packaging is just divine. Um, what else have we got in this? Look, I think this is one of the little eyeshadow quadrants. Yeah, I've already got one of these. I don't know if this is the one I've already got. We'll see. No, it's not. But that is also beautiful. Again, it's kind of like pinky, golden, shimmery tones. Oh, that's gorgeous. That looks like a really lovely nude tone at the top. Really lovely. Okay, I've got an airbrush flawless foundation. I have not tried Charlotte Tilbury foundation before. This is the Full Fat Lashes Mascara. Let's have a look what that looks like. Oh, I love a wand like that. That wand looks really nice, kind of like thick and bushy. Love trying out a new mascara. So what I may do is like do like a full face of makeup or something with this and do some sort of YouTube video with trying trying some of them out. Um, but yeah, that looks really good. And then there are a couple of lipsticks in here. We've got Pillow Talk and then Pillow Talk 2. So they match the lip liners perfectly, like the sort of pinkier nude and then the more brownie nude. Um, I've not tried Pillow Talk 2 before, but I love normal Pillow Talk. It's one of my favorite lipsticks. And then to top it off, they have also sent me Charlotte's Magic Cream and Magic Night Cream as well. And I actually cannot believe how much they have sent me. Thank you so much, ASOS. Um, I'm so excited to try these bits and I love Charlotte Tilbury makeup. It's so beautiful and luxurious. I've got to mention this as well. This is the Goddess Cleansing Ritual Miracle Spa in a Jar Duo. Um, oh, so it is like a double two-step cleansing ritual. You've got ritual one, which is a citrus oil radiance cleanse, and then ritual two is a purifying charcoal cleanse. Um, and there was also like a little cleansing cloth in there, like a little muslin cloth. Uh, what does it say? Deep cleansing, supercharged citrus oil and purifying bamboo charcoal miracle spa duo for fresh, radiant looking skin. I've not even heard of this before, so I will give that a go. I think that'd be really nice, like a nice two-step cleansing ritual. And obviously you can now shop all of these bits from ASOS if there's anything that you want to try out, there's anything that we want to pick up. It's good to know that ASOS now stock Charlotte Tilbury. Um, so I am going to see if Lou is up for putting these curtains up this afternoon. Although he is finishing off the shed, so maybe he won't get time today. But I'm so excited to have curtains up. I feel like it's gonna make it feel so much more homely in, in here. I did want to order the same ones for our bedroom, but they've sold out in the size that I needed for the bedroom. So I will keep checking to see if they come back in stock. Um, but I will leave a link below if you are also looking for a nice quality, super affordable pair of white curtains. Um, wow, okay, so I'm gonna tidy all this up now. By the way, I just spotted a little card in the ASOS box. It's kind of like a little note sort of from Charlotte Tilbury saying, my gorgeous, talented makeup artist niece, Sophia Tilbury and I have selected some of my award-winning, best-selling beauty secrets, especially for ASOS in celebration of our three month Charlotte Tilbury ASOS summer pop-up. So it's kind of like a limited edition pop-up at ASOS. Um, I don't know if it will be a long-term thing or if it is just going to be a three month thing. I hope it's a long-term thing. Um, but yeah, just said, stay tuned to ASOS Face and Body for beauty trips and trips 
tricks, tips and tricks from Sophia Tilbury coming soon. I need to paint my nails because I took my nail polish off yesterday and they're looking a little bit bare. So I thought I would try out these Orly nail polishes. Um, use like the base coat, the top coat and the color and see what they're like. Close your eyes Get some rest I'm by your side Lay your head on my chest finished painting them and I really like the colour. I think it's a lovely kind of peachy, pinky, whitey nude colour. It is called Rehab. Um, the only thing I would say about this is I've used all the nail polishes before and I've never had this problem but this brush, I don't know if I've just got a dodgy one, but the brush, let me just wipe off the excess so you can see, it kind of like didn't go very smoothly to the end of my nail. It kind of felt like it had been cut a bit jaggedy, only on the colour, like the base coat and the top coat were fine, so I think this might just be a dodgy one, um, but I found it a bit tricky getting down to the bottom of my nail. Um, but yeah, love the colour, I think it looks really nice, it's just a nice sort of summery nude colour. The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay. The sun could go out, we're gonna be okay. If all the blue skies Oh, it's good, good size as well. So Lou and I have just spent the last couple of hours getting the rest of the tiles on the roof. I did the other side and he did this side. Um, and now he has just cut out the little gaps for the windows, um, ready to fit the glass in there. And it looks really good. I'm so pleased with how it's looking. How cute does that look? Look at the roof, isn't it gorgeous? We haven't completely finished it. We need another row of tiles at the top. And then that, um, what's it called, the top bit, ridge? The ridge to go on the top. Um, but the windows are going in and then it will be cladded. And then I might, do you think I should paint the door as well? Like a color? I wouldn't leave it like that. No, but I mean, do you think like maybe the same, like anthracite? Oh, no, I, I think I might paint the door the same color as the bifold doors, that kind of dark bluey gray. Now I know, it's your shed, it's Lou's shed. It's only mine from the outside. I get to look at it from the outside and you get to work on it on the inside. <laughs> but yeah, looks lovely, doesn't it? We had a few breakages as well. Look at all, all those breakages we've got. That's their own bugs. They're all like chips and stuff, I just threw them off. Oh, okay. You didn't break them like that. Oh, okay. But yeah, that's another string I can add to my bow. I can lay tiles on a roof. <laughs> Good morning, it is Tuesday and I just wanted to jump on to finish off this vlog. I'm just about to start a new vlog. We are going to Ikea this morning. It's quarter to nine and we're gonna leave here at nine o'clock to hopefully get there for just before it opens and beat the queues, fingers crossed. Um, but yes, I thought I thought I would vlog that and then finish this one here. And we have got so much that we want to get from Ikea. We've got a big list. Um, we've written down measurements of every kind of like area of the house. I don't know what we're going to get yet, but there's, yeah, there's lots of bit that we, bits that we want to get. Um, and I want to get things to fill up the shelves. I want to get some baskets. I want to get maybe some plants. Um, yeah, the list is endless and hopefully some furniture as well. Um, so there will be an Ikea vlog up. It should be up on Sunday morning. That should be my Sunday. That could, yeah, probably be my Sunday video. Um, so if you would like to see that, then don't forget to subscribe. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and hopefully I'll see you again on Sunday's video. Bye.